Harmonicas can get a little nasty. Think about it. We are breathing into these things every day. There's saliva that's going into them. There's maybe little particles of food and stuff. And eventually these things build up and your instrument is officially gross. I'm sure if you've been playing harmonica for any length of time, if you don't have a regular cleaning pattern, you'll notice that Hmm, maybe they don't smell very good. Or if you take them apart, there's a lot of junk that builds up in there. So we got to clean that. And that's what we're going to go over today. I'm going to teach you the best ways to clean your harmonicas. I, mean, I have a couple different methods that I use. Some are a little bit quicker and some are more involved. And I'm going to give you the run through on these different methods in this video. So you will end this video knowing exactly how to clean your harmonica. You can take all the harmonicas that you have that are a little gross and fix them up. Hopefully this video is inspiring to do some harmonica spring cleaning. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, I really, really suggest that you brush your teeth before you play. It is obvious, like when we're breathing, if you have bad breath, it's going to end up in your harmonica. So let's start with the easiest way to clean, which is just using water. So if you have a harmonica with a plastic or a metal comb, then you can just go to the sink and run some water through them. The water is not going to damage anything, and it's an easy way to just casually clean your instrument. Like if you're playing at the end of your session, if say you're on a special 20 with a plastic comb, you can just go to the sink, run some water through it, and it's better than doing nothing. At the very least. You can usually play it, you know, a minute or two after you do the water through it, though it might, you know, kind of plug your reeds if you do it directly afterwards. So that's what I would do if you have a plastic cone harmonica. Just get into the habit of pouring some water through your comb. It's not going to do everything, but it's going to be better than nothing. Now, if you have a wood combed harmonica like a Honer Marine Band, then you're going to need to take a different and more involved approach, which we'll talk about later, because the water will cause the comb to expand or be damaged in some way over time. So for a harmonica that's not too bad yet, using water should be sufficient at reducing that debris, but that doesn't really sanitize your harmonica. And for the sanitization side of things, I really like this Seidel disinfection bag that a student of mine gifted me recently. This is a bag that blasts your harmonica with UV light and ozone for five minutes. And when you take it out, your harmonica is nice and clean and smelling good. Good. So what you do is you plug a micro USB cable into it. And in my case, like it came with a cable, but the cable didn't work. I had to replace it with another cable that I had. Hopefully that doesn't happen with you. So anyways, you plug it in, you throw one harmonica in there and it needs to be dry. And then you turn it on after five minutes and pretty much directly after those five minutes, take that harmonica out and it's nice and clean. It's not going to remove the debris, right? So any sort of gunk that builds up in your harmonica, it's not going going to be gone when it's done, but it will be sanitized so it's not full of bad bacteria and stuff like that. And hopefully it also will smell much better as well. So the disinfection bag costs about 50 US dollars. And I wouldn't say it's necessary, but again, the easier you can make this, the more likely you are going to actually take the time to clean your harmonicas. Just to recap, for most people, if you have a plastic or metal comb harmonica, run your harmonica through some water, maybe end of every session or maybe once a week. I think that's a good practice to follow. And then if it starts smelling a little bit where you can tell it's getting a little gross, you know, it's kind of building up some bacteria, then you can throw it into the Seidel disinfection bag and that should do the trick. Now for really deeper cleaning, which is really going to be focusing on getting the debris out of the harmonica, you're going to need to take it apart. And this is kind of an annoying process. I'm going to show you how to do it. But before we get into it, I just want to make a couple disclaimers. Number Number one, you are going to, in this process of deep cleaning the harmonica, have to take your harmonica fully apart, which means you're going to have to take the cover plates off and the reed plates off. What that means is there's a bunch of screws that you have to be keeping track of. So if you do this, you need to make sure that you are organized and you don't lose those screws because your harmonica might not perform as well once you put it back together. And of course, you're taking your reed plates off. So you got to be careful with these things. If you bend a reed or you push it too far, 
guitar while you're moving things around, your harmonica could play a little bit worse. And finally, when you're cleaning here, you will remove the debris from your harmonica by using some of the methods that I'll tell you in the future, but you're not gonna really do much about corrosion. So if you have a harmonica that you've played for a couple years and you open it up like the ones I'm gonna show you, they will be all you know corroded and that's in the metal. There's not much you could do with a brush or with some you know vinegar or an ultrasonic cleaner that's really going to change that in any meaningful way. You'd probably have to like sand it down to really get it looking all nice and shiny again, which I would don't suggest that you do. So just know that harmonicas do just get generally worse over time as corrosion and stuff builds. And this process I'm about to show you is really mostly useful for removing debris and cleaning out your comb. So let's go jump on to the full demo. First of all, you need to take apart your harmonica. You can get a little screwdriver to take off the cover plates. And then once that's done, you're going to unscrew a couple additional screws to detach the comb from the reed plate. So by the time you're done with all of it, you're going to have your cover plate separately, your reed plate separately, and then your comb separately. Okay. So make sure you're keeping track of all the parts. The screws are really tiny. So make sure that you know where everything is. You don't want to lose one of those screws. Once we have all of the parts of our harmonica separated, then we need to go clean those reed plates and cover plates. So what I suggest you do is get out a bowl of water, put a couple drops of vinegar in it, and then take all the metallic hardware of your harmonica, set it in that vinegar water and let it sit for 30 minutes. If you have one, you could also put the plates in an ultrasonic cleaner too. That's going to work just as well. So for the comb, if it is plastic or metal, you're just going to use soap and water to clean it. Just kind of scrub it and get rid of all the debris that way. You can also use a soft brush to wipe away some of the debris like a toothbrush or a painting brush or something. If you have a wood combed harmonica, you have to skip the soap and water because it might make the comb of your harp expand and that's going to really decrease your air tightness in the long run. Sometimes if you have a lot of stuff built up, you may have to also get out a knife and pick some of it off too. I've definitely had some older harmonicas that required a lot of this manual cleaning. After 30 minutes, take those reed plates out that were sitting in the water or take them out of your ultrasonic cleaner. And from here, you want to brush these as well with a soft brush like you did with the comb. Just make sure that you brush up and down the reeds and not side to side. Like we don't want to accidentally bend a reed to the side, which is going to prevent it from moving freely in the slot. So just be very careful with this. You really shouldn't break your harmonica. Just be gentle and, you know, use a brush instead of scrubbing it hard with a paper towel. After you do some manual cleaning, give everything a rinse and then put your harmonica back together and your harmonica should be clean again. One more thing to note is that sometimes your harmonicas get a little too disgusting to clean. Like if you play one single harmonica all the time and you don't touch it for, you know, multiple years, you're going to open that thing up and be a little appalled. So just keep in mind, if your instrument gets this bad, you can always just throw it out and get a new one. I mean, these things are disposable. I think if you, you know, take care of your instruments, you brush your teeth before you play, maybe you rinse them out, they should last quite a while, but also realize that, you know, this is a disposable instrument and sometimes you just have to chuck it and get a new one. I hope that was helpful. Like that Seidel disinfection bag that I mentioned earlier, you should also learn more about other harmonica accessories by clicking this video up here. I'll see you next time. Peace.